Hey, Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. Good news and bad news. Good news, hey, it works with the Android. In this recording, strings, that's good news. Bad news, iOS 16. In the comments, let me know if anybody on the planet's got it working uh, with iOS 16 or 17. They say there's a new app coming out, uh, but I wouldn't hold your breath. You can wish for it, but you know how that saying goes. You can wish in one hand and crap in the other and see which one fills up first. And uh, you know what my guess is? <laughs> uh, you can wish all you want, but here comes some tips and tricks. Tip number one, after you install the app on your phone, go in there and set the permissions because by default they're set incorrectly. Just like this. And then you go into, I believe it's apps. Yes, apps and notifications. Click on that. And then it says, ah, see all 91 apps. There's a lot of apps on here. Scroll down to where you installed the chronograph. Click on that. And then you go into permissions and you'll see that it's all allowed. Camera, file and media, location, microphone. Before it wasn't. They were all in the not allowed section. And I also had this little box checked. Remove permissions if the app isn't used. So I took that off and they were all down here. So I clicked that on one at a time. It'll look like that. And before it was saying don't allow and I said allow while using the app. And I did that for microphone. I did it for location. I did it for files and media. And I did it for camera. And then the app started to work. So that's what I had to do to get this one going. And I have no luck with my iPhone, newer iPhone. It's iOS 16 and I tried upgrading it to iOS 17. And I've got the lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter because that one doesn't come with a headphone jack. And I played with the app. I played with the permissions and I can't get it to record. So, you know the song by Def Leppard, Photograph? And I've got all the lyrics, I'll show them to you. Just take the photograph lyric and change it to chronograph because it was making me crazy. Number two, do your initial testing and playing around in the backyard with some spitballs. What I did it to test it is I used spitballs. So best to do that. Do that, practice with it in your backyard. Find out the area that you have to shoot in uh, so that you get proper recordings. Um, you don't want to go to the range and uh, shoot two bucks, three bucks around to find out that it's you're fooling around with it, right? Practice at home with us. Show on some spitballs. Really high tech, but it works. Tip number three, if you're firing away and it doesn't record a shot, never shut off the chronograph because it'll screw up the stats. It'll record a negative one in the shot string and that'll bugger up your standard deviation and all the rest of it. So just keep shooting and uh, it'll do the math for you. Tip number four, if you're shooting and it records an error, don't panic. It's waiting for you to shoot again. It'll record your next shot. Error two means that the rear sensor didn't pick up your shot. Error three means the front sensor didn't pick up your shot. Be aware it's a very narrow shot path. And if you're in a busy range and you set up multiple targets, you're gonna to have to move that thing multiple times, is which what happened in my case. So just be aware of that. Tip number five, invest in a decent tripod and place the unit 10 to 15 feet away from where you're shooting as the sun shades act like kind of like a little sail. Here's a sample group for you. Check out the chronograph, 53.3 of RMR 4350. And we did get a good five shot string here. Uh, we were moving targets around and all the rest of it. So we weren't quite lined up, but this one was bang on. And you can see the data that it gives you. And I got one outrageously fast round there that didn't make any sense but uh, all the rest of them were pretty decent and uh, much better than guessing right now i can build a, a little table a ballistic chart lets me know my bullet drops up to uh, however many hundreds of meters or yards however you decide to measure things and i didn't use the uh, group size tool that they have i have uh, another one called on target that i'm going to use but it lets you pick the picture and it lets you do that so it's there. Not bad. It's probably the cheapest thing you can do to measure the speed of your uh, your bullets, uh, right? What you're uh, pounding across that thing. Uh, there's not many other options are going to be that cheap. So Hopefully I've helped you with an initial impression of what the chronograph is like. 
please like and subscribe if this is your thing.